Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of... The Nun. So this nifty little card actually has a prayer on the back of it. One of the prayers used in the film, so I actually think this is pretty awesome. The event tonight was also pretty awesome. They had live nuns in costume to like scare people as we came out of the theater. It was really a, a fun atmosphere to be a part of. But the big question is, was the film itself a fun atmosphere to be a part of? And I'm going to say a soft yes. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. So to start off, I think the film has a lot of scares in it, both cheap and a little bit more atmospheric. And they come at you pretty heavily. It's not like scare here, scare there. And we have a lot of horror-esque set pieces coming at you. So I really think they aimed at making this a fun type of scary film. And for the most part, I think it actually really worked. I also think Tysa Farmiga was really good in this movie. She's our lead, and obviously she plays a young Vera Farmiga. And she holds her own. I thought this was maybe the best I've seen her. She looks just like her sister, and it works really well in the film. The rest of our cast was solid to meh, if I'm being honest, but she was definitely the standout. And I love that these spin-off individual films within the Conjuring universe tie in to the main Conjuring films. And this film also did it very, very well. And you can see they really worked to craft the whole story, to really craft this story to fit in with the lore that we have already come to learn. Not only about the nun, but about the Conjuring universe at large, and I thought it worked really well. It definitely made me want to go rewatch the first Conjuring movie right after I left the theater. So as for negatives in the film, well, the script in general I thought was pretty weak. The dialogue was meh, and the story was quite a bit convoluted. And this goes across the board, actually, as a problem. I think the film worked best when it scaled itself down a little bit, when it pulled the reins in. Because once it starts getting big, we have like the source of evil within the house is just too much for me. All of that lore is just too much. The nun herself works well as this ominous presence. But once we really get like up close and with the nun, eh, it fell apart for me. It was all just too much at that point. So as many good scares as there are in this film, as much cool atmosphere that goes down, I wish they had just scaled everything back, not gone so big and gone so over the top and crazy, and it would have been a really good film. Also, some of this stuff just didn't make sense. Um, kind of trying to link it. Some of the things that happen, you're just like, what? <laughs> no, that's a, no, just no. <laughs> there are also a lot of conveniences that take place. Part of it is I think that they really tried to tie up all the loose ends and they really tried to create a script that didn't leave anything just unresolved and open. Everything had like a callback later in the film, but it mostly felt like a lot of conveniences over and over and over again. And you needed a lot of conveniences because these characters do the stupidest thing they could do in virtually every single circumstance. These characters, no. <laughs> I mean, literally, they follow the sound, they follow the creepiness, they follow entities, even though they've literally jumped from inside to across the field. Uh, my first thought is not, let me go downstairs outside and try to find what I just saw. No, you were following it inside, and now it's across that field. But they do it in every single circumstance. And then we get this priest who doesn't really use all of his, like, priestly exorcism powers, if you will, throughout most of the film. He just kind of, like, runs and yells. They're, like, shooting at demon entities. I don't know. There's just a lot of 
really strange decisions and a lot, a lot of really stupid ones. So overall, I think that The Nun served as a fun filler horror film. It is not nearly as well executed as either of The Conjuring films or even Annabelle Creation, I would say. But I do think it is stronger than the first Annabelle we received within the franchise. If you like scary movies and you're just looking for something fun to do this weekend, I think The Nun is perfectly serviceable. And of course you know I think that horror films have to be viewed at night if you're going to go out and watch them. I mean, come on. So this would definitely deserve a full price nighttime ticket. However, if horror's not really your thing and you just kind of occasionally catch it, then uh, maybe a rental. I think you might have enough fun with this if you turn off all the lights at your house and watch it cuddled up in a blanket at home. Or if you're looking for something highbrow horror, if you want more hereditary-esque level of thinking or the witch, then this is definitely a rental at most. So that is my review of The Nun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see The Nun? And which is your favorite film within The Conjuring universe? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!